Alright, I'm now going to be very energetically speaking about the pupillary light reflexes, direct and consensual. I want to try and get through this nice and fast. So where to begin? We uh, start with the eyes. This can be the right eye here, and this can be the left eye. Now, where does it all begin? Um, how does the reflex begin? It starts with some light being shone. So we'll go from the, light, the right eye. So light is shone into the right eye. Now, this is picked up by your retina. Yeah. Now your retina senses this and that sends a signal via the optic nerve. So the impulse is going by through the optic nerve, that's cranial nerve 2. Now this goes into the pre um, the pre tectal area and that's in the Midbrain. Yep. Now the pretactical area sends it to two places, but the first place it sends it to that to do with the direct response is. Oh, I'll go back. Oh, actually, I'll, oh, I'll I'll stay in there. So again, still in the optic nerve. So it's still in CN two. It sends it to the Edinger Westphal nucleus. Ed Inger West Bell nucleus or the EW nucleus. Now, um, I might, I'll, I'll, no, I'll keep this in yellow. Um, so I'll, I'll slightly change the color, I reckon. Uh, so, this probably the easiest way to think of what this is is. This, um, and this is on the right side, I'll just say, the right and it's our west on the foot. Now, for me, I, I think of this as the beginning of the ocular motor nerve. So I'll write it, ocular motor nerve, which is, you know, ocular eye motor nerve, pretty simple stuff now. I'll draw a little box here. Alright, so that's the ocular motor nerve. Now, these fibers here, are uh, parasympathetic, parasympathetic, PNS, pre ganglion um, fibers. And they're pre ganglion because they're before this thing here, this little box here, which is the ciliary ganglia. I'll try and talk. Ciliary ganglia. Yep. So they, they go to the single. Blue ganglia, and afterwards the fibers coming out of there are still ocular motor, still parasympathetic, but they're post ganglionic. Yeah. Now, from here, these fibers travel to and stimulate the short, pretty long fibers here, the short ciliary nerves. So stimulate these short ciliary nerves, yeah. And these short ciliary nerves, in turn, constrict, cause a constriction in, just right, constrict the sphincter pupillae muscle. Uh, I don't know how to really best draw this, but um, and everything's in black, so we'll say. In some magic world where your pupil's blue, that's your blue pimple, and um, the actions of this muscle, uh, which is the purple muscle constricting, um, causes that to that 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 to constrict, get smaller. Yeah. All right. So that that's that's all there is to the direct um, direct one. So now. I'll get a nice a new color here. Uh, I'll use that color. Uh, so now in in blue, I'm going to talk about the consensual response, um, which is really easy to understand if you understand the direct response. So again, light shone into the right eye. It goes via the optic nerve, sensed sense by the retina, it goes via the optic nerve into the pretectal area. Now the pretectal area, in terms of the consensual response. Doesn't send it to the right and and Edinger Westphal nucleus, but the left. So 
draw this over there. The left E W nucleus. Now, how's it? So it's crossing. It's literally crossing sides of the brain here, is my understanding, and it does this via the posterior commission. Um, posterior commission. Um, commissure P T. So the posterior com issue. All right. Yep. And that's the left, the left EW nucleus, Edinburgh West Bell. Yep. Now from there, the same thing happens, but you're on the left, so you have your ocular motor nerves, your preganglionic optic nerves, ocular motor, so CN3, it's paras parasympathetic, and it's pregang. Yep, that travels to the ciliary ganglia, CG. And then they become post on it, post gang, and they travel to remember here the short ciliary nerves. I'm just going to write SCN, yeah. And then they cause a constriction of the sphincter tubular muscle, which I'll, I'll again draw. The muscle can be, yeah. And this constriction causes That which would the pupil, bigger pupil, it causes it to be small. There we go. Um, that's the consensual. And I'm pretty sure that's all there is to it. So thank you very much.